Subsequently, the foundation stone for the new building of Madrasai Ahmadiyya was laid on the 1st of March 1909. Hazrat Sayyid Muhammad Salva Shah was appointed its first principal. This institute of theological studies is still operating in Qadian. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih I was keenly aware of the need for Hindu-Muslim unity, and he was also very well aware that this cause was very dear to the promised Messiah, who worked till the last days on Parame Sula, a lecture which was designed to generate an urge for unity. He therefore made arrangements for the delivery of this lecture, which the promised Messiah had completed before his demise. So later on, uh, Hazrat uh, Khalifatul Masih I decided that uh, it should be uh, read out uh, to a gathering in Lahore. So on the 26th of June 1908, this uh, paper was read out by Khwaja Kamaluddin Sahib and the meeting was presided over by Justice Chatterjee, who was a judge of the Lahore High Court. There were thousands of people uh, who listened to this uh, lecture and it was highly acclaimed by the newspapers and uh, by other media. Huzur directed the community that every year an examination in certain prescribed books of the Promised Messiah should be held. The first such examination was held on the 24th of December 1908. Since then, this method of study of the books of the Promised Messiah has continued in the community. In the first year of the Hilafat, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I set up a public library in Qadian. He himself was a man of learning and fond of books. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi Lawal ne apni tamam zindagi mein beshumar ko tab koi katha kiya tha. Aap badi dur dur se kitabein mangwa kar aapko ek shauk tha aur aapne ek library banayi hui thi aur aapki wafat ke baad wo library jo thi wo Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad jo ke Jamaat Ahmadiyya ke dusre khalifa bane unhone us library ko बाकायदा तौर पर शुरू किया अब सवाल यह था कि इस लाइब्रेरी को जमात अहमदिया के लिए मतलब इन कुतुब को महफूज करने के लिए कोई जगह भी होनी चाहिए और एक बाकायदा एक लाइब्रेरी की शक्ल दी जाए इसको तो उसके लिए हजरत अम्मा जान ने जो कि हजरत मसीह मोहद अलैहिस्सलाम की अहलिया थी उन्होंने अपना एक बहुत बड़ा मकान जो था वो इसके लिए वक्फ किया और हजरत मिर्ज़ा बशीरुद्दीन महमूद अहमद साहब जो कि खलीफा सानी थे اس نے ان تمام کتابوں کو جمع کیا اور تمام کتب کو اکٹھا کیا اور ان کو رکھا اور پھر جماعت نے اس سے بہت استفادہ حاصل کیا بلکہ اب تک جماعت ان کتابوں سے بہت استفادہ حاصل کر رہی ہے ون حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح دی فرسٹ واز بائی نیچر انکلائنڈ ٹوورڈز دی پورر سیکشن آف دی کمیونٹی ٹوورڈ دیئر ویلفیئر ایون بفور از خلافت ہی واز ویری ویل نون فار دس that uh, he had several uh, students uh, who came to Qadian and uh, all their expenses were paid by Hadrat Khalifatul Masih the first from his own pocket. So after Khilafat also, Hadrat Mir Nasir Nawab Sahib, who was the father-in-law of Hadrat Masih Mohd alayhi salatu salam, had established an organization called the Daruzu Ofa, that is the uh, uh, house for the poorer Uh, co- section of the community and there uh, he looked after the poor uh, section of the community he will uh, provide uh, food for them he would and other uh, khalifa tul masih the first when he became the khalifa uh, he supported him uh, with uh, everything that he could he also decided to set up a small dispensary which later grew into a hospital in 1918 It was named Mulana Nuruddin Memorial Hospital and to this day is engaged in serving humanity. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I launched a scheme to provide houses for the poor. The first house was built from the funds provided personally by Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I himself. This locality was named Nasirabad Street. Later, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I also built a mosque and a well to provide clean water. In 1909, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I appointed Malvi Muhammad Ali as in charge of the translation of the Holy Quran directly under his own supervision. Well, uh, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi Awal Radila Talanho used to dictate notes in Urdu and later Malvi Muhammad Ali Sahib who was ta- taking the, those notes 
would uh, translate them piece by piece into English. The work was completed uh, three days before the sad demise of Hazrat Khalifa Awal uh, Regrettably, Mawli Muhammad Ali Sahib took away the notes of Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masih Awal to Lahore. After he broke away from the main body of the Jamaat, he made changes to the translation to suit his uh, own ideas and publish, published it under his own name. The British government announced that a coronation ceremony would be held in Delhi on the 12th of December 1911 to proclaim His Majesty George V, Emperor of India. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I decided to request the king that Muslim employees of government might be granted a leave of two hours on Friday so as to enable them to offer the Friday noon service. A memorial was drawn up for this purpose and presented to the king. In consequence of this memorial, Muslim employees were granted a two-hour leave. As the Ahmadi population was growing rapidly, a new neighborhood by the name of Darul Uloom was added to Qadian. Many new buildings were erected, such as the Noor Mosque in 1910, Talimul Islam High School, with its fabulous hostel in 1912, Noor Hospital. Under Huzur's direction, an extension to the Aqsa Mosque was undertaken, which was completed in January 1910. Well, the period of uh, Khilafat of Hazrat Khalifa al was not very long. He remained uh, a Khalifa for nearly six years. But during this uh, short period, uh, Alhamdulillah, he was able to accomplish great task. The most important thing which he did was the consolidation of the institution of Khilafat. And apart from that, uh, so far as the publications are concerned, uh, there were uh, quite a few publications uh, during uh, that period. There was uh, uh, two magazines which he started. One was Ahmadi and the other was Ahmadi Khatun. And also there were four newspapers which were published during that time. The first one was An-Nur and Akhbarul Haq. These were the two. And apart from that, uh, one uh, well-known publication was started from Lahore with the name of Pagami Sula. And also a very important and which still continues very prominently, that is Al-Fazl, which was also started from Khadiyan. 